Here in Antwerp we uh, produce ethylene oxide or in the process of CO2 is produced. We try to keep that as low as possible, of course, uh, but it is a byproduct that we cannot avoid. So we will supply the CO2 for green sand. We are here at the Ineos Oxide facility. Behind me you can see the ethylene oxide plant. We are capturing uh, the CO2 by an adsorption-desorption process. Adsorption-desorption is actually the CO2 binded to another molecule and afterwards by heating it up by steam we strip off the CO2 again. When the CO2 is actually stripped out of uh, a unit then it goes to that plot, to that area where it actually is cooled down. CO2 is going underground and it's going further away to the storage area. This is where the purified CO2 is liquefied and uh, temporarily stored. CO2 is being used in many different industries, like the beverage industry, the horticulture, and also in cooling transport. In the pilot phase of uh, Project GreenSend, so the ISO containers come, they drive on the loading bridge to be loaded with liquid CO2, and this in the same way as the other industries come and pick up their CO2. We have been capturing the CO2 on this site for decades. A proven technology, we know it works. We are now just connecting the dots. The Green Sands project will be a game changer for the chemical industry here in Antwerp. If Green Sands proves to be successful, and we are convinced it will, then it can effectively contribute to roadmaps all over the world.